It is December 18th, 2021. So, um, I went to go get myself a bagel this morning. The staff in the bagel store, however, there's only one, um... possibility of an ozone whatever okay um that I can see the rest of the staff well I mean I am always kind and cordial um but I know there's something with knives and the proximity to myself so um it dawned on me this morning as I speak to this one bagel employee that I've never seen before. Um, and he asked what it will be, and I said, just a raisin cinnamon bagel, that's all. And he said, uh, you want me to use the knife on that? Or I said, absolutely not. Just in the bag, just as it is. He goes, all right. So then I gave him the money, and he gave me three coins, two with Bird, one without. So I say to him, I said, this one I will not accept, please, if you could find me one that looks like this, with the Bird. So he says, I have never heard of that before. And I said, well, there is a first time for everything, isn't there? And he gave me the coin, and I left peacefully. And I went back to Linda and Luz in order to enjoy my resin cinnamon bagel. Um, at this point, none of the food has grown local. There is a reliability and dependability upon others, which makes it dirty and difficult in the area when the business owners and shopkeep are such a problem with locking one kid in a translucent box with what feels like cockroaches coming out of the wall and no way to escape because you're locked in this box. Um, this becomes a problem on Army, Navy, Air Force. Floating issues that are now becoming a land issue. And I don't know how the birds are handling things considering I had one bird I will accept. And it is something in my familial category. So... Um... I would not let the man use the knife in my presence. It brings up too many problems um, with symbolic whatever. I'm not always this aware or cognizant, but based on what's been going on, um, I mentioned the thing about the senator being of some other family lineage, not my own. Uh, just opening up shop. I mean, Lou has been living here um, consistently. And then he lived away for a little bit, but my grandfather was certainly here. So there's always been a consistent male Cataruza in the neighborhood for a familial person to open up a senator like address and start mailing things. Uh, seems to be a conflict of interest, um, and a quiet one at that. Um, same time, at some point, I don't know when, a, a U.S., I don't know if it's a U.S., it's, it's an Afghan consulate of some sort opened between Bayside and Little Neck. I don't know what level of MI grant one needs in order to open that. But again, my family, um, I've never heard them referred to as Afghan. Not that there couldn't be, just saying it's not a sound 
that sounds familial. So it's a possibility, but I am unclear. And what they show on the television to pair with that does not look like family. Whatever is hearsay going by that sound, which Farsay might have a problem with. So I don't, I just have to, I'm just reporting in the moment of what I have, whatever. Um, so I do not know how a consulate gets open for a foreign heraldy inside a area as close as it is to my residence. Um especially with no communication from the office, no anything. They just put a flag out front and they are claiming consulate ship. I don't understand how that works. Um, at the same time, I have a high amount of non-familial moving into Queens with in Brooklyn and New York City area. I don't know how or why there's so many coming in. Um, there's been, again, no communication. Um, or any communication directly. Um, and then there's the um, money exchange. Now, I mean, on where my le where my feet are standing in physicality, there is a connected landmass where my ancestry is etched into stone, and it matches the family communication backup system or like main system. Um to keep oneself safe and to alert if there's been any changes. That's where I'm at at this point in century 20, year 21. I really don't know what else to do other than there are some things I can abide by, some things I just physically cannot. Um, but it's coming at and surrounding like they know all the rules and they're forcibly breaking them and trying to force Lou and I and Linda and my children and whatever else to purposely break things to make more excuses and more trouble elsewhere. I mean, I don't understand how to fix this when there are so many areas being breached at the same time. Um, and then that goes back to some secret um, nomination of not only uh, vice something, which I don't know what they do, I thought that was something to do with ports, which is really scary if that's what it is. Um, and um, with a secret nomination of some mayoral candidate that you don't get to partake in who's being nominated for some reason. And then all of a sudden they put it on the television and then they expect large turnout for one of these secret nominees. I don't understand how these secret nominees are even being nominated and why there's no army or National Guard or Royal Guard or Imperial Guard removing these things from the landscape. It dawned on me this morning as I'm walking back from the bagel store um, a nun, we'll call it a nun, N-U-N, from an abbey or a convent deep in the mountains of somewhere else, uh, who has maybe 
driven a go-kart to get the steering mechanisms correct on a protected whatever. Um, and then comes with paperwork to rent a vehicle or drive a vehicle or however nuns conduct their business, I don't know. Um, if they were able to sit in a driver's seat for a moment and they were put into a, a, a quiet village but may have a little on the higher motor vehicle traffic, so there's traffic lights and there's other things built in for that level of movement in motor vehicle terms. The nun with no driving classes and no ordinance training would literally be in a vulnerable position that they could manage through, perhaps, without hurting someone or whatever, although I wouldn't take that chance, but perhaps. But they might get the lighting pattern incorrect and they might make an ordinance um, misstep. For instance, thinking that a red light is cautionary, look for oncoming traffic as opposed to, or like more like a yield, as opposed to a full like stop. They might not know that, so they might make a left on red by accident. Um, because I witnessed this one woman who looked like she could be of said scenario do that this morning on, from Bell Boulevard on to 43rd Avenue, um, in front of some other non-familial lineage. She was familial, but there was non-familial lineage, uh, involved in witnessing and they had their cell phones out, whatever. I don't know what they do. Um, in collecting data on possibilities and how things actually play out. Um, so that happened. And interesting, last night, there's a drinking hole pub. I don't know the difference between a pub, a taver tavern, or a bar. I really I don't. They all look the same to me, I guess, except whatever the owner puts on the top. I don't know the underground whatever. Um, one, this place called Nono's, like north of Northern, um, said they had a DJ last night. I know the other gentleman said that there was an Academy Christmas party um, somewhere else on Bourbon Street, and then there was, um, interestingly enough, as I was walking my usual whatever and looking just straight ahead and observing, there was an NYPD car that crossed my path, which I've never seen before. It had all sorts, it looked like NYPD graffiti, like, tags on it, but in, like, those sticky blocks, it said something about $3,000 reward for violent crime, whatever. I'm like, yeah, you have to define a violent crime. It's, I'm like, all right, so I'm not even going into that territory, but first time I've ever seen it, it was like a billboard. I don't know where they drive, what neighborhood they drive through normally. Um... And then, and in all my time going up and down Bell Boulevard, I have not been in atomic timing mechanism at mechanics level with that particular vehicle. And I don't see it parked out front of it, uh, the 111th Precinct either. Um, and last night I also passed to officer looking dressed up like NYPD. I don't think they are NYPD, but perhaps I, again, not really quite clear how they're operating their internals, but they had a large wooden stick from about bottom of the rib to about just above the knee 
with a tin star um, and some pins. Um, I did not say anything. I just quietly observed and walked past. They did the same. Um, but it was a tin star that I had never uh, visually laid eyes on necessarily before. Uh, last night also, which was unusual, was the uh, Q... I think, is it QNS or QNT? I don't know, though the... the separately operating... I don't know if you want to call them Crescent Club, because that's what it... That's where they're located, across from the old Jamaica train switch operator booth. Um, in a dangerous, quiet, whatever that the real NYPD knows about, that doesn't seem to think it's a problem. Um, or at least hasn't been able to, whatever. Um, their kiddos were out last night, their officers were out last night, or whatever you want to call them. Um, since I don't know if they're official or not, because they're not familial, and they're not ancestry, heraldy, okay, and correct for especially the coinage problem that I'm experiencing, plus some kind of consulate that opened up with some foreign flag that I don't think I have family there, but I have no idea of verifying at the moment. And um, some senator type person, or that's the like title they're using um, for some job or office function that doesn't seem to be in a safety position based on the coin problem I'm having um, and other operating issues that are visually disturbing. Um, considering how surrounded I am with little to rely on um, for comfort. And after being Empress Penguin in an Empress Egg, meant for little America, in an Emperor, like a Queen, to Emperor Penguin Egg Transfer, in Little America Antarctica terms. That's where Emperor Penguins stays, or are, so. Um, so this gets a little um, confusing on how and what remains and is and how to protect oneself amongst the influx that seems to just be accumulating and repositioning itself. I was thinking, I'm like, okay, so if, according to the television, and according to my, if I was a field army, like, person, nurse, put into, like, surgery position to help out the real surgeon, and there was a, some perforation inside of a colon for real, um, you would want to cauterize so there was no leakage from the internal state to the external state of body cavity. Um, that would be one if it was possible. If not, then you'd probably have to cut out the section and then reattach the section, depending on how and where and if it's one or many lacerations. I mean, it all depends on how it perforated. So um, that happened. And I'm like, I don't understand why that level of surgical precision and preciseness has not been installed properly in at least the 43 years that I've been here, where time is now dilated and it has caused so many new inconsistencies and exponential problems in an area that's not supposed to encounter any of these issues in a perfect world, in a perfect system, if things were being handled perfectly at every level. But that's not the system that I am in at the moment. I'm in an imperfection. Um, 
but I, there are people who write papers, write calculations, and so on and so forth. I don't understand why they're relying on those imperfect papers to hold together some self-defense for themselves while they've sat around and purposely pushed for this dirty mixture to continue in a known, open, surgery sore situation, endangering many levels and many lives all at once, many casualties, so on and so forth. I don't understand why they're allowed to operate at this level. Star 1978, Star 8378, Nicole Kataruza is Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxies, Broken, and it's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361.